today I will be showing you how to plan and make realistic Minecraft castles because even if you are good at building, say you're like green or something, a lot of people who try to make castles and realistic castles especially don't do very well because they don't have the correct knowledge of what castles looked like back then. And now if you're a major medieval history buff and you see someone like that try to make a castle, normally it's going to be kind of iffy and you know, just not very great in general. But in this video, I will teach you how to not do that and how to avoid the mistakes that most people make when they are building castles like this. And as you can see behind me, this is one example of a castle plan that might be more realistic than others. I mean, this isn't a perfect example since obviously I'm not the best, but I do have the capability to teach you some things and tips and tricks that can make your castle both look better and be more realistic because I know a lot of people like making realistic castles. Actually, I don't know that. I'm just making this because I want to get more views. Okay, so what you want to do first is obviously make a build palette. Now I know everyone has seen, oh, a build palette. You gotta make a build palette. You want to make a good build palette. You know, blah, 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 blah. Everyone knows about that. Yeah, no, no one cares. But it genuinely is a very important part of making a good castle. You need to find what you can build, and if you're building in survival, what you can afford. Because deciding that you're going to build out of diamond blocks and then realizing that you're poor is something that a lot of people do, and it's kind of a mistake. Uh, if you're in a really late game world, it doesn't matter as much, but if you're just trying to build like a little small house and then you decide to build out of diamond blocks or like prismarine or something like that, it's obviously not going to work, so build palette is something you really do need to do and shouldn't be overlooked even though it is very common and just easy. You still gotta do it. So once you have your build palette made and whatever you want to build like that, you want to find a good location to build it. I suggest building on a hill because hills are good and they were also more realistic because most castles were made on hills or in moats, I'll be honest. Most moats were not filled with water, they were just trenches. However, if there was a river or something like that over there, see that pond, that could work. But generally, moats weren't very common. It was mostly just hills. So finding a good hill is one thing you definitely want to do. I made this in World Painter. This would definitely not spawn in vanilla Minecraft, but you can just use whatever terrain you want. After you have found your nice hill and build palette, you want to start actually planning. Now this is the phase that is most important. As you can see with my plan here, it is not perfect and it's not completely accurate. However, it is good. And there are a couple main reasons for that. Number one, tower placement. Tower placement does actually have a good role in making a castle. You want to have towers in spots that would make sense as they would have good defending position because in castles, in real life, castles weren't made to look pretty. I mean, in the late times they were, but for essentially, they were just there for defense. Castles are not places where someone wants to live. They are military strongholds and that is why castles would be placed on certain areas and towers would be placed in certain areas. So this tower would be overlooking all of this area. It has a good vantage point. You wouldn't put a tower like right here where it can't really see much. You wanna put it on the corners and on the places that are good. These are entry towers. I don't know what they're called in real life, but I put them there because they guard the gate because this is what would be the gate. Another thing that would make a castle look good and I guess essentially another step making good castle is walls because yes castles need walls and uh, generally castles that have walls have walls that you can walk in these are some pretty poorly placed walls since I'm not very good at making them but you do need walls in between towers I don't know if all of them at it I mean yeah all castles have walls but you need to put them in good places where they're not all weird going like woo woo then going in and making it all weird you also want to make sure that the walls don't take up all of the space because then you have no space to make a courtyard, an inner platform like I do here. Obviously there's no platform yet, it's just all on the ground, but this is just the planning where the wool is, it's not actually built yet. Once you have planned out where you want your walls to go, and another important thing is to make some buildings. Yes, buildings are important. Specifically churches, they're very common. Obviously you don't have to build one because I know a lot of people are very much haters of anything religious because I know at my school if you mention anything religious you just die so obviously you don't have to put 
anything like a church or something in there, but you can if you want to make it more realistic. And also, well, well wells were very common, obviously because you need water, and putting a well in a castle is interesting, and it makes the space look better, I guess. There's no real purpose for them in Minecraft, especially one this small, but they do look good and they are just kind of interesting. Now the last category in terms of buildings on the inside is the keep. Every castle needs a keep, whether it's just a one building where the whole castle is just a keep, or it is a bigger castle like this one that has a keep in the inside. Keeps were generally square or rectangular, relatively tall, standing above the outside of the walls, and were in a position that they could defend all on themselves, generally having some storage, or just barracks, or just stuff on top of them. They were essentially castles on their own inside of other castles, so that is one thing that a lot of people forget when they make a castle. They just build a big box and put some turrets on the outside of it and call it a castle, but there's no castle without a keep. One last thing you can add, this is definitely not essential, but this is a little courtyard. Ah, this is not a courtyard. What am I thinking? I don't remember what this is called, but it's essentially a little trench with a bridge over it. Obviously, you can make this a nice drawbridge because I don't know how common these were, but they definitely do help to add a lot of interest to a build because just having a big empty courtyard sometimes doesn't look that good. So to add more detail and just to add some greenery and to make your castle a little bit more dangerous and easier to defend, I guess dangerous and easier to, to dangerous and easier to defend definitely don't sound like anything that would go in the same sentence, but here I am saying it. Anyways, easier to defend because you can knock people off and they'll fall in there and you can pull up the drawbridge so that they have no way of getting past the gate. These are two things, not two things, what am I talking about? This is a thing that you can add to your build to make it look better. That's my point that I'm trying to get across here. What is wrong with me? Well, now that you know how to plan out castles and how to make them good, I don't know if that actually helped anyone because I don't think it was very good of me explaining, but if you look at this, you can probably tell what a good castle might look like. However, there is still more that you have to do to make a castle look good. Ooh, come on. Ooh. Okay, that's weird. Um, there's more you need to do to a castle to make it good. You do actually need to build it, and I will show you what this castle might look like if it was a little bit more done. I'll do it in progression so that you can see my steps of what I'd take in building something as big as a project like this, which a lot of people might be intimidated by because it's big. Do not worry. Building things in survival is easier if you actually know what you're doing. And I know that from experience. Here is what the walls and towers might look like when they're done. Obviously the courtyard's not done yet, but that will be done eventually. And here is what it might look like when it is completely done. I say completely done, there's no interior, but uh, you can't even see the interior, so it doesn't matter that much. But this is only my design, it's definitely not the best. I just made this really quickly and half of it I built at like 1am, so it might look a little bit weird. But hopefully you found this video helpful and will subscribe because of it. I do have other videos that aren't tutorials if you're watching this and you haven't seen me before, which I doubt anyone watching this will have. So make sure to go watch some of the other videos and also subscribe. There's not going to be any tips and tricks in this because I am running out of time. This is already like three days late of a video that I'm trying to make right now. So that'll be in a different video that'll come out maybe one day, maybe. I don't know. Please subscribe.